From, Import vs. Import I'm wondering if there's any difference between the code fragment and the fragment or if they are interchangeable. If they are interchangeable, which is the standard, preferred syntax, if there is one. It depends on how you want to access the import when you refer to it. You can also alias things yourself when you import for simplicity or to avoid masking built-ins. Many people have already explained about import versus from, so I want to try to explain a bit more under the hood, where the actual difference lies. First of all, let me explain exactly what the basic import statements do. Import X Imports the module X, and creates a reference to that module in the current namespace. Then you need to define completed module path to access a particular attribute or method from inside the module, for example x.name or x.attribute. From X import Imports the module X and creates references to all public objects defined by that module in the current namespace, that is, everything tag doesn't have a name starting with underscore or whatever name I you mentioned dot or, in other words, after you've run this statement, you can simply use a plain, unqualified, name to refer to things defined in module x dot but x itself is not defined, so x dot name doesn't work. And if name was already defined, it is replaced by the new version. And if name and X is changed to point to some other object, your module won't notice that this makes all names from the module available in the local namespace. Now let's see what happens when we do import X.Y. Check sys.modules with name os and os.path. Check globals and locals namespace stick with name os and os.path. From the above example, we found that only os is added to the local and global namespaces. So, we should be able to use os. but not path. Once you delete the OS from locals namespace, you won't be able to access either OS or OS.path, even though they do exist in sys.modules. Now let's look at from. From. Check sys.modules with name os and os.path. So sys.modules looks the same as it did when we imported using import name. Okay. Let's check what at the locals and globals namespace ticks look like. You can access by using path, but not by os.path. Let's delete path from locals. One final example using aliasing.
and no path to find. One pitfall about using from when you import the same name from two different modules. Import stack from shuttle again. The last import will win. There is a difference. In some cases, one of those will work and the other won't. Here is an example, say we have the following structure. Now, I want to import b.py into a.py. And I want to import a.py to foo. How do I do this? Two statements, in a I write. In foo.py I write. Well, this will generate an import error when trying to run foo.py. The interpreter will complain about the import statement in a .py, import b, saying there is no module b. So how can one fix this? In such a situation, changing the import statement in a to import mylib.b will not work since a and b are both in mylib. The solution here, or at least one solution, is to use absolute import. Source, Python, importing the module that imports a module. You are using Python 3 or Erlib in the package. Both forms are acceptable and no one form of import is preferred over the other. Sometimes when there are multiple package directories involved you may to use the former from x.y.z to import s. In this particular case with Erlib package, the second way import erlib.request and use of erlib.request is how standard library uniformly uses it. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing.